the business side, products, that's what we're doing in terms of some of the changes we're making on the workforce. And then we think about HR itself and the journey that we're on. So at the moment, uh, now that I'm leading the HR team for the past 12 months, in fact, my anniversary is coming up very, very soon, uh, I've established uh, eight work streams, um, which is really focusing on what do we need to do within the HR function if our organisation is evolving, if our customers are expecting different experiences from organisations through the delivery of products and services, then it stands to reason that our employees are going to expect a different experience, that whatever the external brand is saying that we're a technology company and that we've got all these cool things, isn't it demoralising if your employees feel that the processes that you have within HR are cumbersome, are bureaucratic, and actually do not resonate with the type of brand that we have out there. So we've instigated uh, these work streams to basically look at how do we actually change the whole evolution of the employer experience or the employee experience with our organisation, both before, during and after they come to work. The before part is obviously the talent acquisition piece, during is while they're working, and then potentially after when they leave. One of the points that Michael made where AMP has 50% of their workforce that are contractors, in fact, there are companies in Silicon Valley that are now saying that their value proposition isn't that you come to, to that company as a job for life, but it's just part of a journey. And they actually coach their managers to be able to help give advice to employees to say, after three or four years or five years, if you want to leave, actually, that's fine. We'll help you find another job. But while you're here with us, we want you to be an absolute critical contributor to us, continue on your journey, learn some new experiences, and then come back.